people personally dislike me because I, I say offensive things on the internet. But the fact is, is that they're confronted with messages every day that, that are meant to manipulate them. Trolling is about disrupting that message. A whole culture has sprung up around internet trolling. Andrew is kind of one of the, the people who pioneered that as kind of a style, almost like the punk of, of the internet. I come from this troll culture, and I just put Goatsy in every single media outlet in the whole world. The troll was the troll of the media. The media got trolled. He's a celebrity troll. What type of world do we live in where a troll can become a celebrity? News outlets need to come up with the most sensationalist headlines so that they can get people to click on their stories. But when trolls engage in the same kinds of things, then suddenly it's a problem. He's always pushing the edge of whatever situation he's in. He ignores every person's advice, saying that this is going to get you thrown in jail. There is a push to criminalize behavior on the web that is unsettling. If he goes to jail for saying something that the government doesn't like, then the rest of us could go to jail for saying something the government doesn't like. The purpose of trolling is to combat this political correctness that's infused our society. You cannot say that. Why can't I say that? He forces people to confront the question of, you know, what what do we mean when we talk about free speech? When we say that we're actually tolerant of people, you know, are we also tolerant of really, you know, hateful and outrageous people? They offered a plea deal, but because Andrew is crazy, right? Because he's got a couple screws loose, he's willing to put his foot down. I was yelling at a subway guy, you know, like, can you believe the FBI here? Like, like look at, look at this. Uh, do you think, do you think this is right? And he's like, well, it depends on what you did. It's the rhetoric that matters, not, not the truth.